I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm coming in, get off. Get off. Disgusting. Oh, get me scar. There you are. I'm ready to go now. All right. The old wife tales of the week. Of the year, of the month. I haven't done one for such a long time. Well, I tell you, hi there. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hi, that's what she says when she starts her programs. The granddaughter, you know what I mean? That's what she says. She says, hi there, everyone. Hi there. I don't say hi there. I say, hello, are you all right today? It's good to be here today. Well, it's not really good to be here today, but it's good to be here alive. I'm nearly, I've gone past 100. And she, oh, I tell you, the granddaughter, she's forcing me. She's forcing me to do this program. She, she tied me to the chair. I can't show it to you, but I can't really move. Now look at the smileys hanging upside down. Look at him. What's the matter with him? He looks like the hangman from the tarot card she does. You know, the one that hangs upside down. She said, if he hangs that way up, then it means you're stagnating. If you hang upside down, it means you're doing your meditations. And oh, I don't know where we got her from. Where did we get her from? I tell you. I don't know a word. She's, I don't understand the word she's talking about. Anyway, she put me here today for a specific reason. I've got to talk to you today about the COVID. <clears throat> can't see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. The, 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 it doesn't come out right. I try again. The COVID. Oh, I can't see it, I can't see it. You know what I mean. She calls it the Doris, the Corona. Oh, I can't see it. can't see it for some reason. I'm told I'm not allowed to see it. I don't know why I'm not allowed to see it. I'm allowed to say shit, bleep. I'm allowed to say mer, bleep. I'm allowed to say, you know, um, tits, bleep. All these backside Things I'm allowed to say that I'm allowed to say period. Oh my God! I'm not allowed to say. Oh, I'm not allowed to say it. Don't understand why. It's something to do with this dark Muckerberg. Dark Muckerberg. But you sound like a nice Jewish boy, eh? The 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 the, 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 the son-in-law's out there. He's doing some things there with their in this the allotment. They're in the garden making things grow. They've got this garden and they put me in the shed. They took the caravan away from me. They took me caravan away from me. Oh, oh. They put me in this smelly old shed. Look at it. It's filthy. It's filthy. Look at it. Filthy. A bit like me mouth. Filthy. I'll be told. Anyway. I'm not allowed to say this because of Zark Muckerberg. Zark Muckerberg, whoever he is, he tells you you're not allowed to say this word. And oh, they've gotten rid of the number five, apparently. They've gotten rid. You can say one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you're not allowed to say five. <gasps> you're not allowed to say the number five. Did you know that, Grandma? Did you know that over there, son-in-law? You're not allowed to say the number five. You say the one, two, three, four, six. Now he doesn't know what he's talking about anyway. Anyway, this Zark Muckerberg, there's these people they keep talking about. Zark Muckerberg is one of them. And he banned the granddaughter. He banned her on this, uh, what's it called? The face tube or the, um, what they call that thing? You, you, you book. You book and face tube. Oh, I don't know. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. There's the tweeting. Tweet, 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 tweet. And people, I don't know, have gone mad. There's the Instra, Instra tweets. Um, uh, there's so many of them. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. What was I talking about? you got to get me back into focus now. Oh, that's it. I was talking about the... Not allowed to say it. Anyway. Doris. We'll call it Doris. We'll call it Doris now. I know the granddaughter, she called it Doris. The reason she called it Doris is because she didn't want everyone to be running around like headless chickens. She, how can you be scared about the little old lady down the road? Apparently there's a virus out there. 
There's a big bad virus! I don't see it. I've never seen it. I can't see a big bad virus anywhere. What does it look like? Well, apparently there's a big bad virus out there. It's been out there now for quite a while and it sounds like, you know that song, My Sharona? It sounds a bit like that because I'm not allowed to say Corona. Not allowed to say it. I'm allowed to say bums and shit and when they're moving on TV, they don't like that. They don't like the effing world. I'm not allowed to say that. I could say feck, you know, like Father Ted said, but I'm not allowed to say it with a U. Terrible! But I'm allowed to say those things more than I'm allowed to say the number that I'm not allowed to say. One, two, three, four, six. What happened to the number five? Ooh! I don't know why I'm not allowed to say it. Do you? It's something to do. With, with these big towers that are popping up all over the place. These towers? And they're going to put us in a microwave? I mean, I don't want to go in the microwave. I don't even eat the microwave food. But they're going to put us in a microwave and they're going to set these dials and they're going to blow us all up. They're gonna, they're gonna, you're going to blow up. I'm going to blow up. Especially if I've got any um, metal in my teeth. Or, or I've got any bits of metal in my arms. I'm going to blow up. My God, I don't know what's happened to the world. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe any of it. The granddaughter, she believes everything you tell her. She, that one, believes in fairies. and She believes in everything you tell her. Now, I'm not saying she hasn't got some points to what she's saying, but I am Boba Berta, and the way I'm feeling at the moment is I'm feeling awful, you hear me? He's out there doing his digging. He's digging and digging. God knows what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. So our God. Anyway. I was telling you that they took away me caravan. They took away me caravan. Everyone go, oh, poor Baba Berta. They stuck me in a shed. It's an awful, awful day out there. It's raining and it's snowing all at the same time in June, July. I don't even know what month it is. It's freezing. I'm sitting in this freezing, freezing shed, uh, freezing, freezing shed, freezing me tits off. I'm allowed to say tits, I'm allowed to say bums. Hey, son-in-law, I'm allowed to say everything except the number, that number, one, two, three, four, no, no, six. We jumped to six now, the, the number's gone. Gone completely anyway. I'm getting boring now. Anyway, I wanted to tell you some stuff about this virus you remember I told you about the garlic now you should have listened to me now the president Trump that likes me he looks like the cat you know uh, the, the daughter-in-law and him they got the cat they call him peace peace for God's sake the poor thing's called peace why couldn't they just call him Tom or what's the name for a cat ginger because he's ginger Ginger, something like that. Ginger. No, they go around calling peace, peace, peace. You want your dinner, peace. What is that? I tell you. What a mad, mad world, I tell you. Anyway, I can't remember what was it. Oh, yeah, you see, my mind is flowing. It flows like the granddaughter. It keeps going in a different direction. She doesn't know what she's doing anymore. So she tied me to a chair and she's forcing me to give you this nonsense. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I don't know whether I'm going or coming. I don't know anything anymore. As I say, everyone is running around like headless chickens, headless ducks, everyone just running around talking about this virus. And I told you, and it didn't listen to me. President Trump didn't listen to me. You, none of you listened to me. Boris didn't listen to me. And as I said, Boris, not Boris, yeah, Boris and President Trump, they look like the cat. That cat, the ginger cat that keeps going all over the place, say, doing these programs now? You got a cat doing a program. It's called Cat Man Chat. A bit like Cat Man Do, Cat Man Chat. It's a bit clever. She's a bit clever, the granddaughter. She gets it from me, she does. Some of it. Anyway, I think that comes from the Russian, Irish, Polish, um, Gypsy. Um, um, whatever, um, all the different types of genes that we have, you know, they've all got mixed up together. I think they all got mixed up together, the Irish, the Russian, the Jewish, the Polish, 
the whatever else she's got in her we've got in us and I think that's why she you get these crazy clever things coming up I think you yeah, we're a bit mad but when we use the the, 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 the this part is a madness I think we, we can be very funny we can be very funny sometimes well you may think that I'm not funny but I think I'm funny all right I'm funny I'm very funny so there funny ha 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 funny so anyway as I said to you in the first program, you take your garlic, you don't get anything wrong with you. The flu season hits, I told you, maybe. <gasps> maybe I'm a sidekick, maybe I'm for foresight. I've been told I've got the foresight saga in me. The foresight saga. Da, you know, the one with the curtains and Irene and Sholmes and all of them. The for I've got the foresight saga in me. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, they said I've got the foresight. If you're too young, you won't know what the foresight saga is. Should I tell them what the foresight saga is? Should, who am I talking to? There's no one there except me. I haven't got Bob or Frankie here. I haven't got the ghost. Should I talk to him upside down, smiley? The foresight saga used to be a program with this uh, really, really posh British family. And you had the adultery and Irene and all sorts of terrible, too terrible. I've got to tighten my scarf here now. This is terrible, terrible stuff. Like he runs away with the with the nanny. He does. He runs away with the nanny. Woo! Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's even worse than Coronation Street and that lot. Don't watch them anymore. Too violent. I agree with the granddaughter. You shouldn't have any violence and one sex. Oh, none of that stuff. Nah. Don't wait past me prime there, you know what I mean? I've had me days though. I'll tell you one day about my my days. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the foresight. This psychic person. She's a medium. She's not a maximum. She's not, she's a medium. She's not a large, she's not a small. She's a medium. Oh, for God's sake, you know what I mean. She's a medium. She communicates with the spirits. Are you there, Dad? Knock, knock. They're not answering. She knocks and they answer. So she told the grand, the granddaughter that she's got foresight. Foresight! Which means she can see things from the future that nobody else can see. So maybe that I've got that too. Maybe she inherited it from me. You know, I used to do the tea leaves. I used to do the teacups, not the tea leaves. The teacups. I used to get the teacups out and I'd look at all the pretty little patterns on them. And I'd tell people what to go out and buy. What? What's wrong with you? If you have a marriage, you're getting married. You want to buy a nice cup of tea, a nice, uh, not a nice cup of tea. Oh, not a nice cup of tea. Calm down, Bubba Berta. It's all this Google and Gaggle and you face and Zuck Macroberg and oh, my head is going from so much stuff. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. I turn on the TV and all they're talking about is lack, the, the, the black batters that, that are trying to live and, 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 and the, this thing called Tanifa, ta Tanifa or something like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going What's up anymore? Their flag looks awfully like the Nazi one. Oh, I'm telling you, it looks awfully like the Nazi ones, even red and black. Oh, I'm telling you, you got to find out these things. I'm telling you. And then they're starting to, to, to put these needles in the tin, in the little ones. They want to put the needles in the little one. And do you know what they're putting in there? Oh, let me tell you what they're putting. They're putting bats. Mm. They're putting bats. What's the worst thing they can put into the little ones? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All these dead animals. Dead animals and bits of this and that and the other. And Oh, I tell you. But I'm not making it up. I know the, 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 the granddaughter does some good programs and maybe you need to listen. But I'm telling you, I told you to take the garlic. We've gone backwards now, but I have to go backwards and forwards and inside and out because you don't listen to me. I'm just like the news, but the other way around because I don't know what I'm talking about, just like they are. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming, just like the BBC, just like them. Sometimes she does the good programs, the granddaughter, but this isn't one of them. Anyway. 
So as I was saying, medium, really good medium, one of the best I think. She, she, the daughter trained with her, and I, I, I trained with her through the daughter, you know, because as I say, wherever the daughter goes, I've got to go because I'm part of her in some way. Me jeans, me jeans, not my jeans, me jeans, not me jeans that you wear. Oh, for God's sake. Why are you complicating everything? I told you to have the garlic. The garlic is important because it stops the flus and the bugs and it's and I told you you're gonna lose the cats, the dogs, they're all gonna leave. You didn't watch program number one, the garlic, did you? Because if you did you'd know. And those of you that got this Doris thing, this 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 poor little old lady down the road is causing a lot of havoc. She's causing a lot of problems, this Doris. Anyway, as I said, this is my first program now in this awful, dirty, smelly old shed. That Look at it, look at it. Ah, oh, I tell you what. It's only good enough for one thing, and that is a toilet. We have got a toilet here. There's a hole in the ground. Ah, maybe I'll use it. Terrible. At least I have my caravan. Oh, the days when I had my caravan. Do you remember you followed me into the caravan? He was there, but he wasn't hanging upside down. Do you know why he's hanging upside down? Because I couldn't put an up right way up. Because he kept falling down. So I had to put him up by his legs instead. That's the real reason. Nothing to do with a hangman in tarot cards. Oh, I tell you. I hope you're laughing. Because you tell I'll tell you what, you got to laugh. Because if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. This is mad. The world has gone mad, it's gone mad. You know, I used to live in the days in the 1930s, during the war. And we thought the world had gone mad then, but I tell you what, it's gone a lot madder now. A lot madder. It's right on your doorstep, you don't know. I mean, the other way I was coughing, all right? I had a cough. I was coughing, not in a coffin, you idiots. I'm not dead yet. I was coughing. <coughs> oh, I better not do that. Oh, you're going to snitch on me. Which you got this thing called rack and trick, rack and, oh, what's it called? Rack and, rack and race, rack and race. They've got this rack and race thing where you, they go around and if you start coughing, coughing, not coughing, not coughing, I'm not ready for me coughing yet. Stop thinking that way. I'm only 110. I've still got another 50 years to go. All right, shut up. It's not coughing, it's, I can't do it. I'm not allowed to do it because they've got this rack and race thing. This rack and race or this tack and chase. Oh, I don't know what it's called. I've heard them. The granddaughter's talking about them. So if you start to cough or sneeze, your neighbour. Oh, that piece of shit that lives next door to us. She's a real... She, she, she'd tell me if I was coughing. Not coughing. You keep talking about this box. Coughing. I can't spell the right way. Maybe you should put it underneath. You know, when you put your hand to your mouth and they say you've got this cough. Can't say it. Anyway, people can tell on you. The same way the Nazis got to tell on the people when the Jewish people were, 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 were hiding in there or something to try and save their lives. They're not allowed to do that. They, 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 they stitch on people. But, there's no, it's all gone mad, you know. It's all gone mad. If me and all me, one, I've got 1,000 friends on the Facebook. It's sometimes from 4,000. They come and they go, and they come and they go, and they go, and they come. About 4,000. Bubba Berta's Facebook. You can find me, Bubba Berta. If you're stupid enough to go and look, put Bubba Berta on your Facebook, and she will not turn up. Because it's not true, but I'm telling you, I've got nearly 4,000 friends on my Baba Berta Facebook, right? 4,000! And I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because I've completely la lost my track of thought. I've completely lost my track of thought. I was going to tell you something about the 4,000 friends I've got on this blog. What did I call it? The book face, the, the duck macabre thing. Can't remember now what I was going to tell you. Oh yeah, we gathered. We gathered, the 4,000 of us, we all got together. And we all sat in uh, the cafe. The cafes are closed, you can't sit in the cafe. Why am I talking to myself? 
The cafes are closed. You can't sit in the cafe. I'm talking to myself again. I'm probably talking to myself because I'm always going to watch this anyway. The only thing they want to watch now is the is 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 the thing about Gisterga. Well, what's it called? Red Red Sand down. Oh, I don't know. Cigara, Cigara, and Serana. Cigara and Serana. Something to do with that. The end of the world as we know it. It's not going to be very funny anymore. Who oh, listen to him? He's too noisy now. You're not going to listen. You're not going to hear me. Hey. Grand, great, whatever your name is, Martin, can you turn that off and bring it in the shed because no one's going to hear nothing with that going on. Hello? Martin, son-in-law, can you turn off the video because no one's going to hear me talking with that going on. I tell you, he's either going deaf or he just doesn't want to listen to me. Right, can you bring it in the I was saying, but um, I'm going to have to wrap it up soon because the battery's going. Me battery, not my battery, the battery from this thing, the, the thing they call the video thing. The battery's going on the camera, not on me. I'm not a battery. I'm not a battery yet anyway. But this is what they want to turn you into, batteries. They want to turn you into a battery. Can you imagine? You'll, you'll be like this. Like all wrapped up in like this shape, like a battery. If you listen to that lot, you're going to turn into a battery. Oh, I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. I tell you, I was going to tell you very quickly. Anyway, we gather together. We gather together. No, oh, I don't know what's going on with your mind today. Why are you doing this, Boba Berta? Who am I talking to? There's no one here. This awful smelly old thing that's going to fall. It's a bit like being the Wizard of Oz. As soon as the wind comes in, you think you're going to be taken off into the skies. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to stay calm now. Do me best to stay calm. Right. This is my calm, all right? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. All my friends, we gathered. We gathered in our favourite place. Oh, it's just a little place in the market, you know. We all get there together, 4,000. None of us are wearing masks. None of us are paying into that nonsense. And the police are just sitting there laughing. They're laughing. They're smoking. They know. They know everything. And we all gather there, only 4,000 friends. We all sat there together talking about the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. You know, I've told you about them. We've got plenty of them. It saves us from having to pay to do the work in the house, you know. We don't have to bring in the cleaners. We've got the kids that do it for us. Uh, you know, in the old days, you used to stick the kids up the chimneys. Well, we don't do that. We don't do that. Now, don't be cruel. No, we get them cleaning the toilets instead. Anyway, it's good for them. A little bit of discipline. Oh, I don't know. This is Baba Berta here. This is not the granddaughter. All right, this is me. I'm a character. I'm allowed to say whatever I want to say on my program. Okay, Mr. Zark Bookerberg, whatever your name is. What is your name is? Mark Zark. Zack Bookerberg. What is his name? Zack Bookerberg. Mr. Zark Bookerberg. That's it. You see, the, 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 they made me laugh. And you're not supposed to laugh anyway. I'm very serious about this. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. The whole world is running around like chickens without their heads off. And I did say, I was telling you about the 4,000 of us, we gathered, we gather here together. No, we don't. I tell you, I don't know what's going on with me head today. The same, whatever comes into me head. It's like that thing she was diagnosed with, that Tourette's thing. She does the song, you know the song she does? A little bit of this, yes, I'm not going to do it. You're probably switched off by now anyway and you don't watch this. Oh, poor Baba Berta. You're not going to watch me, are you? You're only going to watch the programs that she puts on with, um, I don't know, about this new Nasara and uh, the 
Nasarga or something. The saga. The Foresight Saga. We're back again to the Foresight Saga. And they said that I had foresight. Oh, I don't know. Where did that go? We were talking about foresight when I was telling you about the garlic. That's it. I got it now. The garlic. If you were taking your garlic the way I told you in the first program. My foresight is so strong. I'm like a detective. I can see what's coming. I think. What's coming? The rain's coming. It looks like it's going to rain. There's clouds in the sky. Look at the clouds everywhere. And it's starting to feel like little drops are coming through the roof. I think it's going to rain. I am so clever. I'm a psychic. They call me a psychic. Not a sidekick, a psychic. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm going to have to end this. I'm going to have to. You know I miss Boba Frankie because sometimes when Boba Frankie is around, I'll have to get Boba Martina on. Boba Martina, now that'll make a good program. Boba Martina. Oh, what about Mrs. McDonald from around the Mrs. Martin Tina McDonald? Mrs. Martina McDonald, she's good. We'll get her on. Baba McDonald, Martin, Martina McDonald, I think, I think. Anyway, as I was saying, to finish off, we were sitting there, the 4,000 of us, smoking like 20 packets at the same time. Sometimes we smoked cigars, sometimes we smoked dope, but whatever we got, we smoked cannabis. Cannabis is the best. Takes away all your aches and your pains, and I don't care what Zark Muckerberg thinks about it. I don't care what you think about it, Zark Muckerberg! I'm telling you, I don't. Before you were born, I was burning me bras. And me <laughs> Before you were born, Zark Muckerberg, I was burning me bras and me knickers and me suspenders and me socks for women's rights. That's before you were even conceived, before you even conceived in a previous life. Burning me bras and me knickers and me socks and... Whatever else I could burn, and me husband's knickers and bras and those. Oh, sorry about that, I didn't. And his wigs, his wigs, he wears the wigs, you know. He used to wear the wigs. That's another story. I'm not going to tell you about that one at the moment. I will respect the granddaughters, you know. I won't say that yet about the grandfather. It'll be another story. So anyway, we all gathered there, the 4,000 of us, smoking cigarettes and cigars and cannabis and everything else. Didn't have the time to burn whatever we needed to burn. We were about to. And then the police turn up and he looks at us and he says, Do you mind putting out that cigarette? You're 110 years old. You're going to get sick. That's what he said to me. Do you mind putting out that cigarette? You're 110 years old. You're going to get sick. I said to him, <laughs> oh, you're a lovely lad. Oh, you're a lovely lad. Would you like a smoke? He didn't even smell what we were, what we were smoking. He didn't tell us. He said the same to me. Do you mind putting on a mask or keeping six, whatever distance or two? He said, do you mind putting out the cigarette? You're not going to live to be 111. That's what he said. Isn't that disgusting? I tell you, the governments are going round and we're not wearing the mask. And the police, they come up to me and instead of saying to me, why are you not wearing your mask, you stupid old bag? He says, do you mind putting out that cigarette, love? Or is you not going to reach 111? I was in shock. We were all in shock. Anyway. In the end, we passed the joint around to all the... There was about a hundred of them. By the time we were all finished, we were all singing My Corona! My Sharona! My Sharona! And that is how I'm going to end this Boba Berta. My Sharona! So stay well. Take your garlic. Live your lives. And please, do what the granddaughter tells you. For God's sake, subscribe, share, like, 
Come on board the movie on TV. If you've got a character like mine, well, you haven't got a character like mine. No one has got a character like mine. That's impossible to have a character like mine. But if you have a different type of character, she's telling me to do this. She's tied me to the chair. She's forcing me to do this. Oh, I think I'll call I think I'll, I, I, I think I'll have to, I'll have to contact this cute thing. Here's, where's my telephone? Have you got a telephone, anyone? I need to contact the Q people. She's forcing me to do this program. Right, let's ring these people. Where we go one, we go all. Hello? Yes, my name is Boba Berta. I'm sitting in a smelly old shed here. You're going to come and save me. Well, I thought you, I taught, I taught you save people. I taught you save people. What's going on? Are you where we go one, we go all? Yes, that's what I rang. Where we go one, we go all. My name is Baba Berta. I'm the granddaughter of the one that runs that moving on TV. Rubbish. Well, it's not exactly rubbish, but you know what I say. She talks a lot about you. She said you're good people. So why won't you come and get me out of this smelly old shed? She stuck me in. She, she took me caravan. This is sex slaving of Baba Berta. I've been sex slaved in the, in the shed. No, it's not funny. I know it's not funny. I just said that and I probably have to censor it and cut it. I'm not being sex slave, but I'm being sold as a slave. She's going to sell me into slave. Sell me into slavery. Sell me into slave. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know that film, um, Modern Millie? The one where they collect all the girls and they put them in those big things. Hello, are you Q? Q? Where are you gone? He's gone. He doesn't want to talk to me. Where we go on, we go all. Isn't that disgusting? Isn't that disgusting? He told me to, he told me to contact President Trump. The, the one that looks like that cat, peace. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it with things like that going on in our world. I'm an old lady. I'm 110. I'm not going to make 111 because she stuck me in this smelly old shed and she's selling me. She's going to sell me into slavery. I'm telling you. What's that? Ooh, I think they're answering now. Better go. I tell you, they're coming to get me. Help! Help! You! Right, I'm back. You'll have to tune in to the next one to find out whether Q came to save me or not. Where we go one, we go all. I do not consent. I ain't having it. She told me to tell you all of this. It's in the script. It's not me fault. Bah. Thank you.